Hi everyone, welcome to another Tech Nerd tutorial. Today we're going to be installing Kodi Media Center on Ubuntu 14.04. Kodi Media Center is quite similar to Windows Media Center where it does run on the machine that it is installed on. For the information behind it, it is free and open source like many things on this channel. It does provide movies, music, photos, and TV shows. And really the advantage of Kodi is the add-ons and PVR live TV add-ons that you can install into Kodi to give it more customization. And it does have remote controls and web interfaces so that if you do have a PC connected to a TV, you can use remote controls like your phone or a remote control to access it. We are going to install the Linux version here in Ubuntu, so we can go ahead and just click on the guide once we clicked on downloads. It takes us to their wiki page in which we now have information on what to do to install Kodi. It does give us terminal commands, so the easiest thing is to copy each line into terminal. So here I'm just highlighting it, and then I am going to copy and paste it into terminal then go ahead and hit enter. It's going to ask for my administrative password the first time. I go ahead and put that in and then it's just going to install or not. The first line is just to make sure that the background programs are installed properly. So then if everything is fine with that, we just go to the second line. We will go ahead and copy and then paste that into our uh, onto our terminal, go ahead and hit enter. And this one will ask for us to hit enter to confirm we are adding this repository and then it will just give us a few lines and then we're basically good to go. The next one is going to update our repository with all the new information that we just added to it. So then we just copy and paste that into terminal. It's going to give us a bunch of lines. We're just going to let that finish up. And then from there, we then install the very last line of the instructions, which again is just copying and pasting that final line of code and putting that into our uh, terminal. When we put it in there, uh, we are going to have to also confirm the new files that are going to be added. Uh, that's just somewhere in all this updating. And then it's going to download and install all the needed programs. With Kodi also, if you do want to have the PBR add-ons, then if we do go back to our instructions and we just scroll down a little bit, it will get us to installing our PVR add-ons. So these ones, it does give you the different types of PVR add-ons as well as the code that you would need to use to install each of those individual ones into Kodi. We're not gonna do that here. We are just gonna go straight into Kodi. So then in the Ubuntu start menu, we can just type in Kodi and then we're gonna have our Kodi Media Center. In the Kodi Media Center, it does default to full screen. And for us to just take a look at what it can do, I'm just gonna to go to videos and we do wanna add a file location for where videos are being stored. So first gives us some instructions for navigation. We want to go to the files and we want to add videos to Kodi. It's going to ask us to add a video source. We can go ahead and hit browse. Most likely you're going to go into a video folder. I'm just going to go into our home folder. And then, like I said, you may go to videos after that. But the home folder is just good enough for me. The mic default is fine. And then when I hit OK, it's going to ask for what kind of content that it's looking for and whether or not it should also scan subfolders. I'm gonna personally turn that off, but in reality, you probably wanna leave it on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just hit okay. All the other defaults are just fine the way they are. It's gonna ask if it wants to hide empty folders that don't have media. I'm gonna hit no, just so you can see it's my home folder, but in reality, you probably wanna hit yes. So then we have our intro MP4. I'm gonna hit it, it is gonna start playing the intro to this video, and then you can see the interface, and then I can go ahead and stop it. So that's basically adding video content to Kodi. Same thing with music content, you can do that in the music section. But really the power of Kodi comes from the add-ons and additional features that Kodi has. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to open and uh, turn on the web server of Kodi. So we're gonna go ahead, go to systems and into settings. In settings, then we can go to the services section in the left sidebar. And from there, there is going to be a web server section. So just like many uh, different 
products in this channel, we do like things that are connectable through a web browser. So we're going to go ahead, turn this on. You can change the port if needed and give a username and password if desired as well. There are different interfaces. There is only one default one, but you can always install more if you don't like the look of the one that is provided. From there, uh, usually you would connect to Kodi from a different computer connected to the network. Uh, I've tried to read documentation of whether or not remote access is possible through this. Many say no, some say yes, so it is something to go ahead and test. I'm just going to quickly go into windowed mode so that I can show you on the same computer what you the web server would basically look like. So in Firefox, I'm just going to go ahead and open up a brand new tab and then go to the web address of my computer. Uh, you can also use localhost or basically the IP address of the computer and that may even be faster than using the public web address. From there we can see that there's movies, TV shows, and because I don't really have those sections turned on, then we didn't really see anything, but it did exist. So that's turning on the web server. I am just going to go back to uh, full screen mode for Kodi so that we don't see all that Ubuntu interface. So we turned on the web interface so that uh, other computers on the network can access Kodi. Now we also want to be able to install some add-ons. One of the ways of installing add-ons is to use an add-on installer or manager. And one way we can do that is to install uh, a Fusion installer. So to begin, we are going to go into the file manager of system. So when we go ahead and click on that, it will ask for us to add a source. So when we double click on that, we will be able to add from a web location, a new source for our files. So I go ahead and open that. It is going to once again ask for me to browse. So I can just click on browse or on the actual field. Then I'm, I'm going to type in a web address for this new media location. So it's going to be http colon slash slash fusion dot tv add ons dot eg. Then I can go ahead and hit done. Once I'm done that, I also want to give it a name. So the name that I'm going to give this is just fusion. And then once again, going to go ahead and hit done. So go ahead, hit done, hit OK, and then I now have this new source for me to download and install files from. So now that I have Fusion ready, I can now go back to uh, the settings and be able to install an add-on that will allow me to have kind of like a mini app store here in Kodi. So here's the Fusion repository. I am now going to go back to home and in settings, I am go in system, I am going to go into settings and in the settings, then I do want to go ahead and click on add-ons. So from the add-ons, I can now install from a zip file. And the location that I'm looking for is the network location Fusion, the one that we just created. And in there, it does have quite a bit of things. It does have a start here folder. So that's where we're going to go to begin installing some add-ons. And the one that we want is the add-on installer. So we go ahead and double click that. And then it's going to go ahead and install the add-on installer which is great so that we can go and then see what uh, add-ons are available through this particular installer. I can go back to home and in home, then I wanna go into programs. And in this program section, I now have my add-on installer. And from there, when I double click on it, it needs to first create a database. Uh, the first time I did this, it didn't quite work properly. So you may have to do it once or twice, but once it is up and running, then I do have some options. I can even choose what kind of add-ons to have available. Then I can go ahead and then start searching for those particular add-ons. So going back to that particular screen, then I can now go to something like video add-ons, and then I can go ahead and choose one of these particular video add-ons to then be able to make some changes and install them into Kodi. So one of the ones that I may choose to install could be All You See. So then I can just go ahead and select All You See and then it will go ahead and allow me to install it. So here I am, I'm just gonna go ahead and double click on All You See. And then from there, it's gonna go ahead and see the working in the bottom right corner. So it's basically getting ready to install this particular application. It's going to then take me to a second screen, and in that second screen I do have to confirm the installation, and then I'll be good to go. So here now in this screen, uh, once the icon appears, I can just go ahead and then double click on the icon for me to install all you see. 
to go ahead and click on it and then I'm good to go. It's going to go ahead and install what it needs to install. I just need to confirm that. And then there we go. We're going to be installing one of the many add-ons. This is a simpler way of doing it. You can go and search for Kodi add-ons individually and then still use that install with a zip file once you've downloaded them individually. This just kind of gives you an app store like feel. If you are having issues with the app store, then I would probably recommend first going and then installing it from first downloading the zip by searching it online first. And that's how we install Kodi on Ubuntu 14.04. Hi everyone, thanks again for watching this video. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And go ahead and leave a comment down below if you have any additional questions or comments. Furthermore, check out some of our related videos or find us in our social media. If you would like email notifications of whenever we release new video or written tutorials, you can go to our webpage technerdservices.com and sign up for our weekly newsletter. We will send to your inbox notifications of those new video and tutorials. Thanks again for watching and until next time, keep teching on.